Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody say. My name is MJ Omoto, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a rundown of Love Hate Part 2 by Xenia Manasse. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... As the title suggests, Love Hate Part 2 is a continuation of Love Hate Part 1, which was the album Xenia Manasa released in September 2023, so it's been a year and a bit. The way this album starts and progresses, and I mean Love Hate Part 2, is simply how the questions start rolling in. We've been primed to expect a soulful R&B type of sound from Xenia Manasseh. That's just the reality. The first five songs of Love Hate Part 2 challenge that completely. Track 1, Sober, is trap R&B. Track 2, Asali, is Afro Beats. Track 3, which is Dare You with Waye from Nigeria, is heavily reggae-influenced. Track 4, Longa, is an Afro R&B with a tinge of dancehall kinda, so it's in that space. Track 5, Hush, is an Afro Amapiano house fusion, where vocally, Xenia Manasseh reminded me of Doja Cat or Molly the Ghanaian American star. You really start getting more of the Xenia we all expected on track 6, which is Chemistry with Ukweli, and even then, Track 7, which is Fire, feels more like a pop R&B type of approach, which could be done by someone like Tinashe or Keilani perhaps. That's still not quite where I would have placed Xenia previously. The trend continues on bad side with that pop inclined R&B, so you get where I'm going with this. Fight For You felt like the closest to the Xenia Manasseh I expected generally speaking, and it actually highlights her songwriting prowess in many ways. Stylistically, it gives the listener an opportunity to focus more on the lyrics en route to appreciating Xenia's voice more. You get the same on Act a Fool, so there's a natural vibe progression, something that I really liked um, in the placement of these songs. It got me thinking from an execution standpoint, Xenia is a seasoned artist, so Love Hate Part 2 is relatively well done. Xenia Manasseh is vocally gifted and she backs it up very well. That doesn't change regardless of the type of beat. She has this sort of um, formula that just works and she knows how to write a beat very well. It definitely gives her a certain edge. Having said that, the pop R&B records didn't quite do her talent justice because it places her in a lane with so many other singers, particularly in the US and maybe even in the UK too. What that essentially boils down to is that differentiating her becomes extremely difficult because she's just existing in a lane where a lot of R&B females are in, whether it's the UK, the US and a lot of really really talented ones as well and i just don't want her to be in that lane selfishly as a fan of her music at least her older music um uh, prior to this album because there's something special when she's in that lane when she moves over to the more commercially viable lane or whatever you want to call it then you start comparing her with so many other artists and I just don't think it's fair to the type of talent she's introduced us to and gotten us accustomed to. So basically, what she, the, the bulk of what she's given us on Love Hate Part 2 is not necessarily what we love her for. And I say that respectfully. When she does songs such as Phases and Still Lose with Hamza, you get a powerful version of her talent where she goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with other talent while accentuating her most powerful traits and that's what i want to hear more of, of from z honestly because when she's in her lane that comfort zone oh man, 
you cannot compare it to too many people. On the other hand, maybe it feels like on an Afrobeats type vibe like Asali, some parts of it don't have that level of conviction to say that this is Z's lane. It's a really tough one to call because when artists experiment, it gives us listeners a platform to discover something special. And I am all for it. You gotta try something different. And you know what? When it sticks and when it lands, we really do get something special. And potentially this is what she was going for, but I don't think this album gives us that. Essentially, Love Hate Part 2 sounds like a strategic pivot to find a more commercially lucrative spot for Xenia Manasi. That's what I think they were going for. In that sense, the title of the album could also refer to Xenia Manasseh's love-hate relationship with the expectations of the music industry, where her own need to make music might be within certain limits, yet the powers that be are chasing after numbers. As a result, there's a lot of friction when it comes to the direction it takes. Judging by the first Love Hate uh, Part 1 album, which I thought was well worked by the way, and really really good and positioned her uh, brilliantly in that lane that I was talking about, there's no natural progression uh, on uh, from, from that album, at least musically or sonically or sound wise stylistically to this one. It's just different man, it's different, totally different. This album will undoubtedly polarize the Xenia Manasseh fan base, <laughs> 100%. And for me to even get to review this, uh, my friend Mark from the podcast 30 Minutes with Mark sent me a link and he was kind of confused, like, hey, I can't quite place this Xenia album, I'm not sure what's happening. And that's how I got to listen to it and to also do this review. And I agree with them. I can't place it either. It's It, it just doesn't make sense for um, the name she's already built for herself. Uh, this level of experimentation is probably not what she wants to do right now. Or maybe it is, but it's not what we expect as fans. So yeah, I'm just speaking from a fan perspective. Love Hate Part 2 might win Xenia Manasseh some new fans, but I suspect not enough to really move the needle. The second half of Love Hate Part 2 will be where Xenia fans of old will find most of their comfort. That includes me. That's where the familiarity is. But otherwise, for the overall motivation for this, your guess is as good as mine. I rate Love Hate Part 2 by Xenia Manasseh a 6.6 out of 10. And before I dip, do check out my website, uh, mjwemoto.com, which is mjwemoto.com. I'll be making some updates on there, so you want to check it out. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Wemoto. Sana Zimbabwe signing out. Peace. Dang, dang. This podcast is hosted by MJ. MJ.